Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia. Last time we picked ourselves up uh, the Earthquaker ability, which I said was almost completely useless. And the reason for the almost is very, very simple. Remember this guy over here that we couldn't kill before? As soon as you drop down there, he will move over. And the only way to kill him, and hence continue with the game, is to use the Earthquaker to stall him. And basically what it does is it paralyzes everyone. Uh, let's go up here. Definitely want to charge up for Dark Fry around here because there are lots of enemies. And apparently I can't hit anything. Using Free Dan around here is very, very, very recommended and required in certain spots, like now. But um, more than that, it's just he has a little bit faster attack speed than Will, allowing him to very, very easily take out the, uh, let's let them charge up there. Yeah, nice. Uh, allowing him to stall those brown skulls so that they can't, uh, you know, split their forms. And it only works, of course, if you actually hit enemies with it. I was trying to hit him with that, but oh, success is limited. Here we get another red jewel. Very nice. Now, you may notice that uh, the sound is a little different today, especially when it comes to my voice. And maybe when it comes to the game audio, too. I'm testing some stuff out. But more importantly than that, I, uh, I got very, very lucky. Let's uh, kill those two. Get them out of my way. I was not really looking for a gaming headset, but, uh, you know, it's, well, around this time, it's not obvious considering when I upload, but today is the day before, no wait, today is the 28th of November, I believe, and basically, you know, um, Amazon loves to have their early... Oh, I should probably talk to that skeleton. Well, they love to have their early Black Friday sales. And they had the uh, Sennheiser U320 on sale for 75 bucks, which is a great deal. And so I decided I'd, you know, I'd try and pick that up. And so I was able to pick it up. And actually, I was able to get it price matched in town, so I got it right away, which was awesome. Anyway, here's a journal of Frieza, or Freezer. Okay. A bright room blocks the way. Huh, wonder if that'll be important. Yeah, it will. In order to get past, we need black crystal glasses. Hmm. Not sure if that would work. We'd have to, uh, get it really, really smooth in order to, you know, not, I guess it's refract or reflect the light anyway, to distort the image so much like you would, you know, with a little prism type crystal that you see at, you know, knickknack stores. Basically, they're pretty cool because they just bend light. Anyway, yeah, so I was able to pick up these headphones and they're substantially better than the ones I was using before, which were Corsair... Oh, what were they? Corsair... Ooh. I think they were 1100s, if I remember right. And now we're pretty much stuck here. we got to drop down. There are enemies on the other side, too, so let's take them out. There are a total of three more left here. And just go over here. So yeah, I'm trying out these uh, new headphones, and hopefully, uh, you know, the sound is improved. I can actually put these ones close to my face now, uh, before, now, before with the, uh, the Corsair ones, and, you know, they weren't bad, they were just cheap. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't blame Corsair for making a faulty product, you know, they have a pretty good reputation. But yeah, so, you know, they were relatively cheap ones that I was using before, and I had to put the microphone... Where is the other enemy, damn it? Oh, right, I can't kill it yet. Never mind, I'm... <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I went and picked up the headphones, and they were just so much better that I decided, uh, you know, 
I'll keep them definitely. They're, they sound a lot better. I can actually put the mic right in front of my mouth instead of having it off to the side, which I had to do before because it was just kept picked, picking up far too much noise. And it was really bad when it came to pops. This one's not so bad. Um, I may still have to play around in the editing. No. Ow. Running right into the enemy, probably not the most beneficial way of uh, progressing with the game. Anyway, enough about uh, the headphones. Let's head up here. And here... Oh, I skipped through the dialogue again. Bloody hell. Yeah, here we get the white room that uh, is full of blinding light that we cannot pass. So let's find those black crystal glasses that uh, Freezer was talking about there and see if we can uh, continue on. I'll go away. I will... Can I kill you now? No, I can't kill you now. I'll kill him on my way back. Basically, in order to kill the last enemy here, it's right here. And not only does that give us some extra defense, but it reveals a sparkle. And as we all know, sparkles are important. Especially in Super Nintendo level games. And obviously this is the black crystal glasses, since there's nothing else that we need in order to progress right now. And we can't go anywhere else. So, yeah, we pick that up. I uh, wonder if charging goes through screens. Nope. There we go. Take care of him. We can't get to that dark space just yet, but uh, we will in we'll need to in order to progress with the game, so... Oh, I forgot about you, didn't I? There we go. More attack power. I'll make sure I'm checking on every screen so that I don't miss anything. One treasure chest. That's the one we saw on the way in. In order to head up here. Let's just get rid of that. And put on the black crystal glasses. Now we can head up here. And now there's nothing preventing us from doing anything. Now let's kill those two and head to the right first. And take care of him. Now, this is entirely up to you, but anyway, there, you know, we can't go on from here. There are more enemies we could kill right now, too, if we really wanted to. Hey, come back here. And I feel like doing it because he ran away from me. No, do not run down there. That will not be beneficial. Over on the left, there's not really anything else we can do. Again, we need will in order to progress. Do not fall down those holes. Those will not get you anywhere you need to go. Obviously, since uh, we were seeing the dark space on the right side of the screen, we need to do this. Be careful here, because sometimes he wants to fall down and not go into the dark space. So, tippy toe in. And we get will. Eventually. Eventually. Very, very slow transitions. Ah, well. Anyway, there's some heal. Sits quietly in the jungle. Okay. Oh! Apparently motivation happens after the fact in this game. <laughs> oh, man. This game is funny. Very, very funny. All right. Now we can head back up to the previous room and use the Psycho Slider to get under those uh, couple of areas there and progress with the area. Uh, two enemies left in here. Let's go down here. Now, unfortunately, we're back to Will. Ah, managed to kill one. Nice. Now, let's go kill that last enemy over here. Don't, 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 don't. Don't know. <sighs> These guys are still giving me grief. Three episodes in this area, and they've been giving me grief the entire time. Well, they gave me my HP back. Anyway, this just leads to the left side uh, area that I showed off briefly. And dropping down here allows us to get the chest containing another red jewel. Yay. Let's get rid of that. Uh, don't have a lot of room in my inventory right now. And again, just head back up. Normally, you know, backtracking off screen, but eh, it's not that long. I'm not too worried about it. Oh, I gotta put the mm, classes back on. 
Yeah, if you select them. Cut out a lot of light. And eventually, they will uh, work for you, even if you don't go into the room with them already on. And we can go up here. And I don't like this area. Again, using the Psycho Dash ability here is very beneficial. So we're just going to wait here for him to come back. There we go. Take out two in one shot. Two for one. And here you can take him out before he even gets down there. Take out him. Now, there are a lot of annoying enemies around here in annoying spots. No. Especially, what are those guys called? I don't know the names of any enemies in this game, but these guys are specifically annoying, so I'd like to know their names so I can make fun of them. All right, just continue going this way, and again, more charge-ups. Which is kind of unfortunate, you know. If the charge-up wasn't quite so long, it wouldn't be so bad, but it really is. It does take quite a bit of time in order for that charge-up to actually happen. Now our damage is a little bit higher, so it's not so bad to uh, um, words and stuff to take out uh, those brown skulls by just beating them over the head with the flute. Still, all the way into this game, and our main weapon is still a flute. How? Here we get another red jewel. And again... Let's uh, put those black glasses back on. And head up the... Well, it's not the final set of stairs, but it's pretty much the final set of stairs. By falling down here. Actually, I think... Is there two more sets of stairs or one more set? I can't remember. Alright. Five more enemies to go. And he'll come back and respawns. Ow! There we go. Once you get a few of your damage buffs in this area, it becomes quite a bit easier to take them out, like I was saying there. So, definitely beneficial getting the attack uh, boosts in here. If you were, you know, for some reason planning on running through the entire area without getting all the boosts. Okay. Okay, so there was one more set of stairs. What can you do? So, that doesn't sound like boss music. What's going on up here? Nothing over there. Or there. One of these guys? Well, you've been here quite a while. Bet you you have a longer lifespan than those vampires. Considering I killed them. I am dreaming. Now, if this was the last game, what was it, the dream wand that we'd supposed to use on this guy? <laughs> I was actually uh, watching some gameplay footage of the first game, and it was kind of funny to see how easy the uh, bonus boss of this game was in his incarnation in the first game. And if you're wondering, the first game was uh, Soul Blazer. They're not so much linked as, it's not a continue to continuative story, continuation story, whatever. It doesn't follow the same story, it's just the same continuity. Whoa, this definitely screams 90s. Early 90s. <laughs> I don't know, I just, I think of Sim City when I see that. Because I haven't seen graphics like that describing a city since I played Sim City back in the 90s. It's been quite a while. I'm not big on the SimCity games. If I wanted to play something where I build up a town, I'd build up a, an army in StarCraft and kick some ass. Except for the fact that I'm not very good at it because I got bored. Anyway, distractions aside, is all gray. Now, you could say that this is a commentary on our current society, and it is, but it's still kind of blunt force trauma. <laughs> you will usher in that world. Huh? Yeah, this 
does actually come to play in the plot later on, but it just, I don't know, it seems really out of place considering what we've been doing up until now. <laughs> oh, well, how am I supposed to do that? So, okay. All of these people in the native village have been turned to stone. They're, you know, equating that with being gray, very much like, which is a non-natural state, very much like that city we just saw. So, if I'm the one who causes, I being Will, causes the city or the world to go to this gray state, why would you trust Will, meaning, you know, why would this floating ball of light trust Will to remove people who are already, you know, removed from their natural state, you know, referring to those people in the village. Now, I, you know, did not speak words in a very flowing manner there, but I hope you can get my kind of understanding and what seems like it's a contradiction. Either way, apparently, okay, nothing happened. Then you found the Gorgon Flower. And we get the standard fanfare music. And very slow scrolling text. Now we have to walk all the way out, so I'll just meet you on the other side of that. And here we are. Back to the native's village. There's not too much to do here, but there is uh, one thing that's particularly important to do. Don't know if this gets locked off, because I've always gotten this. Eh. Anyway, if you're watching, you'll know to get it now. Okay, let's run up here. Do you guys say the same thing? Yes, you do. Okay, never mind. You're boring. Oh, what did you learn? Oh, in this region, huh? I, I wouldn't refer to, you know, a language as something that's region-specific. Which is pretty much apparent by the English, English language in general. Canada, United States, a bunch of different places in Europe, including England and other parts of the UK, Australia, New Zealand, even parts of South Africa. Yeah, it... Nah, I'd... there's crazy cackling laughter coming from upstairs. I'm scared. Very scared. And I probably shouldn't be making bad jokes when Eric is talking about something that's so sad. And there's that laughter again. Hopefully the new mic will not pick it up. <laughs> anyway, here are the Gorgon Flowers. Or the Gorgon Flower, because they were lazy and forgot the S. Put one petal into the mouth. Oh. There we go. Now, we're going to get a little sequence. And apparently sign language is the same everywhere. Apparently, uh, whenever this takes place, they already knew ASL, and it was universal across all cultures. <laughs> No longer prey on each other. Well, no, they do. That's kind of how the animal kingdom works. They always prey on one another. Otherwise, no one would be able to eat except for cows. And I know I'm oversimplifying that, but you know what I mean. Anyway, talk to the middle one. And we get a red jewel as a reward. And you don't understand, and you don't understand. Okay. Let's talk to Kara. Yeah, I think we kind of figured this much out already. Travel to the Labor tra Trader's Village. Okay, sure, why not? Just make sure you pick up the red jewel, and we're pretty much good to go. And where are we going? We're going to Dao? The Desert Village of Dao, or Dao, eh, whatever. Anyway, this is the final village in the game, and 
there's some interesting stuff we can do here, but that'll have to wait till next time. So yeah, that's all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.